Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Bunny Bay. I hope all of you guys are having a wonderful day today and I have a ton of things to show you. First things first, we have a new roof in our little like uh, shack area and inside we have none other than our guardian Ink, yes, G Ink has his very own home now. Um, so let's see if I can show you. If we come out this way, uh, I made like this little guardian person, uh, like statue replica and put him on top of this area. And then I put Ink inside. So now Ink has a home of his very own and doesn't have to sit in a boat anymore. And now Ink lives in there. So I thought that was really cool. And we can always see Ink um, inside of this little room over here. Let me look up and there you are. Look at you, little ink. You're such a good ink, aren't you? Yes, you are. Look at you. You're so cute. Oh, yes, you are. Okay. Okay. And then, hello, Edoge and Echo and Sharko and Crush. And then today, what we need to do is we need to name our llama and we need to name our new kitty over here. So I do have a name uh, picked out for our kitty. So let's go ahead and get a name tag. And the name I'm going to go ahead and go with is Noodles, per your comments. So let's go ahead and name Noodles the cat. So welcome, Noodles. You're so cute. And I did see some other kittens upstairs, uh, kind of in my house area. So I do have some fish on me. So if there's more cats up there, uh, when we go out there and explore, then we might be getting some more kitties. But we'll have to wait and see. So Noodles, welcome to the family. And then I do want to go ahead and name our llama too. Uh, where did I put... There we go, we have our new tags in here. And I'm not too sure what to name you, to be honest. Um, I did ask uh, the people that were on the server too what I should name uh, this llama. Uh, we had Lucky Simmer, and then right now we have Black Dog Tobo and Crazy Panda on. Uh, but Lucky said maybe we should go with Fluffy or Blanco. Uh, and then I think Tomo said we should go with, uh, what was the name? Kuru or someone, something, some type of llama from a Disney movie, uh, but I don't know. Uh, I looked up llama names on Google, and the very first name that popped up was, I think it was Fuzzy Wumpkins, to be honest. Like, I just Googled, like, llama names, so I think we're gonna go with Fuzzy Wumpkins, because that made me LOL in real life, so Fuzzy Wumpkins. <laughs> Welcome to the fan fam. You two can have a name of your own. So Fuzzy Wumpkins, Meat Crush, and Sharko. <laughs> so yeah, that's really exciting. Uh, I love being able to name some of our pets. So uh, I made some changes inside of our castle. I'm very excited to show you. I've decorated. It looks amazing. I really, really like it. And this pink shulker box over here too. It had a sign on it. I accidentally broke it. But this is actually a gift from Tomo, and Tomo went to the end, and he was able to kill the dragon. He looks like he found a dragon head for me, too, and we have our very own Elytra, which is amazing. Uh, this is this is a great gift. We have some ender pearls in here. We have some chorus fruit. We have some end stone, uh, some end rods, uh, and then the dragon head and dragon egg are in here. But that looks... That, like, like, is absolutely amazing. And he also gave me a shulker box, which is what this pink thing is here. So that is so cool. Oh, sky's the limit. I have an elytra. <laughs> but yeah, that is so amazing. So thank you so much, Tomo. And we can actually go ahead and pick up this shulker box. So let's see. I might go ahead and do that. Uh, I think we just can go ahead and break it. And there we go. It's in here. Uh, let's see, Tomo uh, gave me one. There we go. Uh, but yeah, so Tomo gave me one, so that is so nice. So now we can go ahead and fly around on our Elytra. And I wonder if it's daytime now. Um, let's see, let's go up here and see. Uh, so we can go ahead and test this out. It is daytime. I want to test out our Elytra. So let's see, let's go ahead and go up there and see how it works. This is so exciting. The very first Elytra um, that I have on the Bunny Bay server. Let's see, so how do I, is there an easy way to get up here? Um, yes, this way we can go ahead and go up pretty high. And ooh, we can go on top of this tree, can't we? Ooh, that'll be really cool. 
Uh, let's go ahead and go up here, and then we can go ahead and jump off. Whoa, look at this! We can see, like, the whole island from up here. This looks so cool. Uh, and there we have my, like, little area. Um, down over this way, we can see our castle. And then over there, uh, we actually have Simmer's base. So Lucky Simmer has been building over there, so that looks really cool. And maybe we'll go ahead and show that off today, too. Um, and then we have a mob farm up there, but this is so cool. All right, so Elytra time. We are going to go ahead and test out our Elytra and we are going to jump off. Uh, I don't have too much experience with this, so let's go ahead and see. I think if you have fireworks, you can actually like boost yourself and fly uh, more, but we're going to go ahead and go our very first flight. Whee! Oh my gosh, and if you look up, you can go a lot farther. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> we landed safely in the water. Oh, but that is so cool. I love it. So thank you so much, Tomo. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and check out the inside of my castle. And there's a bunch of fishies over here. Hello, fishies. You're so cool. And oh, I like it. I love it. I look like a little bug now. I got little bug wings. Oh, that is so amazing. All right, so now we are inside of my castle. So let's give you guys a proper tour. And so here is like the entryway over here. And then it's pretty small, but I think I made a good like use of all the space and I'm pretty happy with it. So over this way, we have like a little living room area and we have an enchanting station. I haven't really enchanted anything here yet. But we do have an ender grinder now, so it'll be a lot easier to go ahead and get enchants. And then down here is going to be our aquarium, where we're going to go ahead and put some fishies in. And then over this way, we actually have our kitchen area. So we have our refrigerator. It says e Rose's fridge. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and put some food in there in the future. Uh, let's go ahead and put some rotten fresh flesh in there. Oh gosh, I took... Oh, oh is that new? Oh, I think that's new. I don't think you were able to really take flowers out of flower pots before, but now you can, like, pretty easily without breaking it. So that's pretty cool. And then I have my furnaces. Uh, we have, like, a little sink right there. A brewing stand, crafting table. We have some herbs for our kitchen, so we can go ahead and cook up some fresh food. Uh, we have a nice little table where you can go ahead and sit down and eat. And then we have our pantry in here which you don't really have too much in there right now, but we do have a pumpkin and a melon and some chest. And then let's see, if we go over this way, we actually have a downstairs, which I'll show you in just a second, but this right here will take you back to like our little tube. And I did close this off with glass, so it is safe uh, since it's under a cave, but we should see, yep, crush and fuzzy wumpkins in here, hello. Uh, welcome. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you guys. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Working underwater is so cool. Um, but I do want to go ahead and show you the other room that is in my little castle on the upstairs, which is my bedroom in here. So we can go ahead and close this. So here is my bed right here. I think it looks awesome. And then right across from my bed, I do have another fish tank, which I don't have anything in it yet. But one day, if I find like a special pink fish, I think I'm going to go ahead and put that fish inside of this fish tank. Uh, then we have some storage over here. Then we have like a little closet space to go ahead and put in some of our armor from our armor stands. And then we have some extra chests for storage. Uh, but yeah, and then just some nice little decorations over here on the sides. But I thought that looks really cool. I'm excited to one day find our very lovely pink fish. We can go ahead and put that in our bedroom. Uh, but let's go ahead and show you guys the basement now, which is going to be down here. And this is where we have the bottom of our fish tank, like our giant aquarium that we can see from uh, up above, like in the floor of our castle. And then I did move some of our chests down here too, uh, with some of our stuff in it. And I think I'll eventually, ooh, I'll make a proper storage room. But I do need to go ahead and light this place up because we are under attack. There is a Skeletor in here. What the heck? All right, there we go. Uh, and then over here, I want to make something really cool that has to do with our fishies. So in the last couple of episodes, we were collecting some of these tropical fish and we do have one puffer fish. And I decided what I want to do with these guys. I want to put them in this aquarium over here, but I'm going to do something 
pretty fun with naming them. So let's go ahead and set this up. And let's see, I want to put a dispenser right here. And then on top of that, I want to go ahead and put a hopper. And then that should go ahead and go right into the chest. Let's go ahead and throw a button in there. And yes, it's in the dispenser now. And then we'll go ahead and put a chest right here. And then inside of that chest, I want to put in um, all of our fishies. So we can go ahead and have them go through the hopper. And then they'll go ahead and go through our dispenser. So it'll kind of be like a little randomization thing. And then if we go ahead and put a button on it, it will go ahead and choose a fish for us. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a special board over here. And um, I think we're going to use some sea lanterns, some pink concrete, and some jungle logs. So let's go ahead and set this up over here. And every single uh, week or so, maybe not every week, but every few episodes, or at least maybe we'll do every episode, depending on if you guys really like it, we are going to go ahead and name a fishy after one of you guys. And it'll kind of be like a little random fishy, and it will pop out, and I will go ahead and name it after one of you, and then go ahead and pop it inside of our aquarium, which is a little bare right now because there's no fishies and no luck help or coral or anything, but we will go ahead and decorate this. Uh, and then we'll have this wall over here where we can go ahead and put down uh, the fishy names that we had. So let's go ahead and get ourselves, let's see, we need a crafting table. And then we're going to need some signs. And actually it's pretty dark over here, so let's go ahead and put in some of our sea lanterns. But not right there, we want to go ahead and put that up in there. There we go, now it's a lot brighter in here. And now that we have our sign, we can go ahead and label what this board is supposed to be. What the heck? What are you doing? What are you doing, little block? Are you dancing? We have a dancing block. <laughs> oh my goodness. And there we have a sign that says Fishy of the Week. And we'll leave that there. And then we can go ahead and put a sign down when we name a Fishy. But I do want to go ahead and get an anvil. So let's go ahead and build one of those. I do have quite a few irons uh, hanging out in here. So it shouldn't be too hard. So let's go ahead and make one of those. And there we go. And place it. Uh, maybe we'll try to place that on top. Yeah, we'll just place it right there for now. That should work out pretty good. All right. So let's go ahead and test out our fishomatic that will randomly go ahead and give us a fishy. And then I will go ahead and name this fishy after one of you guys. And oh, okay. It's so, slight problem, I did not realize that <laughs> the dispenser would go ahead and like dispense the fish like that. Okay, uh, pufferfish, okay, so we know it's you. Oh, okay, um, I need water and then, okay, I have the pufferfish. Oh no, I'm poisoned, okay, but I think we can fix this. Okay, so, first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. All right, so it's going to go ahead and dispense uh, the puffer fish. Did it dispense the bucket too? No, it left an empty bucket in here. Okay, so that's interesting. We learn new things every day. So let's go ahead and make like a little fish catching area over here. And we'll go ahead and spruce this up in the future probably. Uh, and then a button. Let's see, that's not gonna really work because when it gets wet, hmm. Let's go ahead and rework this and see <laughs> what we can do with this. Okay guys, so I think I finally figured some stuff out with our fish o -matic, but I do want to go ahead and decorate a little bit uh, before we go back down there with our dragon egg and our dragon head. Ooh, ooh, I got some achievements. Uh, but let's go ahead and place our egg right there. And then we can go ahead and put our dragon head right there too. And I think if we put some redstone by it, um, its mouth will go like crazy. Um, we'll have to test that out later. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and pick this stuff back up and see if we can figure out if we fixed our fish o uh, which all the fishes will be right down there. So I think it's going to be really, really cool. So let's go ahead and put our fishies back in here. So I made some changes, so this should be better. And I do have a water bucket in there. Let's go ahead and put in our fishies again. And they should go ahead and go down the hopper and then into the dispenser. And I move the button over here so it won't get washed away. 
when the dispenser works. So let's go ahead and try it out now. And oh, and that is the fishy that we got. And we can go ahead and pick the fishy up. Uh, I should probably take the empty buckets out of here. And then I do have a fish bucket right there. Let's go ahead and pick that up. So this is the fish that we are going to go ahead and name today. And the fishy of the week is going to be dun, 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 Ching Golden AJ. So this person left a really awesome comment in the last episode that gave us some facts and information about Minecraft llamas. So I thought that was really, really cool. So if you two want to go ahead and get uh, your name on the fishies of the week board, go ahead and leave a comment down in this episode. And then maybe one day I will go ahead and pick your name and name a fishy after you. So I think it's going to be really cool and I think it's a really good way to go ahead and get you guys incorporated into my series. Uh, let's go ahead and do one there. Number one, the very first fishy of the week. And there we go. So we have your name on the board and let's go ahead and put your fishy inside of our fish tank or aquarium area <laughs> uh there we go and there is did it name you yes shin <laughs> shin golden aj uh and that is awesome so yeah i can't wait to go ahead and name a bunch of fishies after you guys and have them in here in the future and then also have your names over here so we can always remember so yeah awesome so go ahead and leave a comment down in this episode and in future episodes and then maybe you too go ahead and be named after one of these fishies in fishies of the week and it's over there oh it's so cute i love it i love the fishies and we should be able to go ahead and see the fishy from upstairs too if i'm not mistaken let's go ahead and see and it was in the corner let's see where is the fishy oh right there do you guys see him oh that is so cool there's our fishy awesome so we only have one fishy in there now but in the future i hope that we get many many different types of fishies uh but yeah so that is really cool so what i want to do now is i want to go ahead and go to spawn because there is a really really cool shop and i want to see if we can go ahead and get a new pet today i love getting pets um i do need to go ahead and build some areas for our pets but i've been getting some ideas ready and i did give ink you know his very own special area so you know i'm working on it i'm working on it but there is a shop in spawn so i want to go ahead and check that out and let's go ahead and take uh sherko and edoge with us and we can go ahead and take our puppies and go to spawn area are you guys coming oh be careful of the lava the lava is not your friend okay so I might have to remove that lava if the puppies are going to be too curious about it. Uh, but hopefully if we go this way and then right over here is a shop that I'm very excited about. And we do have Tomo's little shops over here. Uh, let's see, we have saddles and name tags and blaze rods. We have, let's see, leather and bone and DIY pizzas. And then over here we have a horsey shop. We have a little horse stables. Ooh, that was weird. I like what's swimming. Oh no, it's because I have my elytra on. Oh my goodness. Uh, but yeah, so there's some horsies over here and I want to go ahead and get a horsey of my own. It looks like it says 10 diamonds per horse. Uh, free lead with purchase. So we can go ahead and get a free name tag and a free saddle. Uh, and this is from Lucky Simmer for Life. So let's go ahead and place down Edo's. And let's see, where is Sharko? Sharko? Where did you go? Oh. What are you doing, Sharko? Oh my goodness. Sharko, you're going to drown in there. Be careful. Um, all right. So our horsies, uh, let's see. They're all beautiful, like brown color. They look pretty similar. Uh, let's go ahead and see the hearts. So this one has almost see, a full one plus one. This one has full one plus two. And this one has a full one plus one as well. So let's go ahead and go with this horse and see if we can tame this one. And let's see, will you love me? We have to go ahead and, you know, keep keep going on top of them. And do you love me yet? Do you love me? Uh, soon. Forever alone. Forever alone. Maybe we should go ahead and feed uh, you some wheat. And get you to love us a little bit more. And faster. Oh, oops. Uh, uh, accident. I need to go ahead and make a hoe and fix that. 
Uh, let's go ahead and do that first. And then uh, we do have some more crops over here too. So we can go ahead and give our horsies some more wheat. And there we go. We fixed it. All right. So which horse was ours? Or which, not ours, but which horse were we thinking about getting? Uh, yes, this one. Okay, so horsey. Will you love me? No, not yet. All right. So we have some wheat. And hopefully... If we give you some wheat, you might love us a little bit faster. And, oh, not yet. What about now? Do you love me now? <gasps> you love me. You really love me. Okay, so now this horse loves us. Uh, You should get away from there, horsey. Be careful. Okay. And, oh, there's Sharko. So we should be able to take a saddle in a name tag. And let's go ahead and put a saddle on our horsey to see how she is. Uh, and let's go ahead and go like this. Ooh, and we do have some horsey armor too, um, at home. Oh my goodness, we have our very own horsey. Uh, oh no, oh no. Okay, okay. Um, we're going to have to break this temporarily to go ahead and get through. And there we go. And let's close this and put the fence back. And we have our very own horsey. Yay, that's awesome. Let's make sure that we pay, uh, for our horsey. And let's go ahead and put in 10 diamonds. And then let's go ahead and do three extra ones for a little tip uh, for the name tag and the saddle. Um, ooh, there we go. And, oh, beautiful horsey. What should we name you? I don't even know. Edoge and Sharko. Let's go ahead and test out our new friend. <gasps> You're so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love our horsey. How does it work if we have an elytra with a horse? It doesn't. Okay, so you can't do it. You can't be like running around on a flying horse. It doesn't work like that. But if it did, it would be really cool. But let's go ahead and take our horsey home. And ooh, we're going to have to make this a little bit wider too for horses. Because uh, it's not going to fit in this one gate. Uh, so let's go ahead and just remove this stuff for now. Horsey, come back. No, come back, horsey. And then we're going to have to make this wider too, I think. Uh, so many changes that we have to make because of a horsey. And can you get through now? Yeah, there we go. And then we should be able to come down here. And, oh, there we go. We did it. We made it. Uh, let's go ahead and put like a little area. Oh, we're under attack. Okay, uh, it's nighttime and there's zombies. Oh no. Oh, Sharko. Sharko was like, hey, trying to get into the action. All right, so let's go ahead and make some fences so we can go ahead and make like a little fenced off area for our horsey for now. So we can go ahead and keep our horse out here. Maybe in the future, we'll go ahead and put our horse inside of like our underwater base. But for now, I think it'd be really cool just to go ahead and have our horse outside. So let's go ahead and do this. And we're going to need some planks and some sticks. Oh my gosh, there is like a little baby. Uh Okay, Ido, Sharko, good job. Okay, it's very dangerous out here. Um, so I'm trying to get like a little area. Oh gosh, a horsey, what are you what are you doing? I'm trying to make an area for you. Why are you climbing around? Uh cool little guardian pen. Oh, it looks like Tomo is around here. Um, okay. Uh zombie. Ido, get the zombie. There you go. Good girl. Alright, so I want to go ahead. I think we're gonna need more fences, but I wanna make a little area. So we can go ahead and park our horsey over here. So let's go ahead and fence this off like so. And we should be pretty good. Let's go ahead and redecorate with some more flowers just to go ahead and spruce up the place. And there we go. And we have a little poppy that we can go ahead and put there too. What are you doing? This is not for you. This is for horsies. Well, you're not get out of the horsey pen. You're not supposed to be in the horsey pen. You're so rude Do I have to enclose this area and make a nice little enclosed area for my horsey because Rude people keep going inside of here. Oh my gosh. Why are there so many zombies like seriously? And where are my puppies puppies? Dogs doges Edo's Sharko. What are you doing? We're under attack here What what are you even? I don't understand. I don't I'll never understand Puppies? What are you doing? Help! Help me! Is there like a skeleton like down in there or something? 
you guys you guys are too much okay um i guess we need to like enclose this area a little bit better so skeletons and zombies don't go inside of it so let's go ahead and work on that no okay so a creeper totally just creeped up on me and blew up like my beautiful creation that i started to make for a beautiful horsey how rude this is a disaster be careful there's roses and, and stuff all over the ground what are we gonna do Really? 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 Inoj! Sharko! What the heck? Why does this keep happening? We really need to light up this area. It's actually my fault. Like, we really, we really, we really, really do. Okay, so let's go ahead and fix this up now. Uh, but I did make, you know, a, a roof, a little bit of roof on our horse's uh, little pen area. So that is definitely a start. Oh gosh, we, we need more dirt. We need all the things. Oh, and we broke sugar cane too. Oh no, Edo's. What do we do? Uh, but I've been thinking, I think I know what I want to name our horse over here because I keep calling her fancy lady. So I think I want to name our horse lady. Uh, oh no, Sharko. <gasps> Sharko, how can a shark drown? Oh no. Oh no, Sharko. <gasps> Rest in peace, Sharko. Rest in peace, Edoj. No, what do we do? <laughs> this is so sad. That is horrible. Where did he even drown at? I'm so confused. Edoj. I'm so sad. What do we even do? Edoj. Edoj, what do we do? This is so sad. Um, let's see. Rip. Sharko. Uh, let's see. Uh, when did we get Sharko? June? June to August 2018. Sharko. Rest in peace, little guy. Rest in peace. This is so sad. Um, I do have a flower pot for Sharko. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's see. Can we put flower pots? We can. Let's go ahead and put a flower pot right there and say a few words for our beloved little friend. And Edoj, if you have anything to say to, feel free uh, to let it all out. Okay, just just feel free. But Sharko, you are a good dog, even a good Doge, if I can say so. You are a friend to me and to Edoj. And to echo the parrot and crush the turtle and fuzzy wumpkins, the llama, and even our new horse, who I'm going to name Lady. You were a good dog, and you had a lot of fun here on Bunny Bay, and unfortunately, you drowned. Even though your name is Sharko, I thought you could breathe underwater, but we were wrong, and it's always wrong to assume. And I hope that you had a good swim, your very last swim. And I promise to take really good care of Edoj. And everything's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. Okay, Edoj, just leave. It's so sad. Okay. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and name our horse, lady. I'm actually kind of sad. I actually am. Uh, Sharko is pretty cool. I really like Sharko. Uh, bye, Crazy Panda. Bye, Tomo. Uh, but let's go ahead and name our new name tag and Noodles, I forgot noodles. I forgot. I forgot but noodles Noodles will miss Sharko as well uh, But lady the horse there we go. Oh and our anvil broke Okay Edoj, I'm so sad. I'm just so so sad Here you go lady. Oh, you know what? Edoj, be careful. I can't lose both of you in one day. Okay, no, I can't. I can't even. We need to go ahead. Do you eat fish? I don't think so. Um, 
No, okay, we need to go ahead and feed Edoge. I'm sure Edoge needs some food. Um, maybe if we run down here, Edo Edoge will follow us. But that is so sad. I'm actually kind of sad. Shaco, you know, Shaco was a good friend. He was a good Doge. And we found Shaco when we found Edoge. And now Edoge has lost her friend. But hopefully in the future, we can go ahead and get a new friend uh, for Edoge. This is so sad. Ooh, I have a lot of rotten flesh. Uh, Edoge. Where are you? Edoj! Are you still fighting zombies? I need to go ahead and give you some food. Oh, you're sitting down over here. Okay, you're just like chilling on the lily pads, you know. No big deal. Uh, can you- can you come follow me? Excuse me, I don't want to lose both of you. Oh, there's drowned people under there and it's raining! Edoj! Come to safety! Come in here! Lady will be fine. She- she's a good horse. She- she knows how to handle herself. But Edoj, uh, there you go, buddy. And let's go ahead and give her as much food as she needs. Ooh, she was, she really was down in hunger, wasn't she? But Edoj, I'm very sorry that we've lost your companion. Makes me very, very sad. Maybe we should go and get you a new companion in the future. I did have some other things that I wanted to do in this episode today, but I'm kind of sad about it. So... I guess I'll go ahead and show you those things in the next episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Rest in peace, Sharko. Rest in peace. This. You were good. You were good, Sharko. But you couldn't swim, and you drowned. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next episode of Bunny Bay as we continue on our adventures. Goodbye, everybody. I'm gonna go cry now. I miss Sharko. I miss him so much.